Musk isn't hiding the fact that he wants to use the Starship to send people to Mars. Russia, however, has made it crystal clear that they intend to launch a nuclear-powered spacecraft to the moon of their own. There seems to be no rhyme or reason for Russia's recent public declaration of its desire to either colonize the moon or send humans to Mars. Perhaps Russia has space rays flashbacks after witnessing how an American firm, SpaceX, designs and prepares amazing rockets. The ability to fly to Mars would definitely astonish spectators and draw major investment from other sources, which may be another motivation for Russia's interest in the Red Planet. Maybe it's a matter of national pride. Russians know full well that the United States beat the Soviet Union to the moon, and the idea of an American private business beating them to Mars is an insult. Regardless of the reason, Russia is set on using nuclear power to boost its Mars missions. This has never been attempted before. SpaceX rockets are not powered by nuclear fuel. Actually, as of right now, not a single rocket can claim to have accomplished that great achievement. Methane and oxygen are used as fuel in SpaceX rockets. Many rockets before SpaceX consumed a combination of kerosene and other fuels. Kerosene was also used by SpaceX before the development of methane rockets in 2007. Methane rockets have proven effective for SpaceX, and while some older spaceships did use hydrogen, it appears that methane is the best fuel option for the company's future space flights. It's been helpful because it can be used to refuel spaceships. Getting into Earth's orbit consumes roughly half of the total energy required for a trip to the Moon or Mars. With enough time and the ability to refuel in space, a SpaceX Starship could theoretically travel anywhere in the solar system. Why then would a Russian spaceship use nuclear power if that is the case? Russia claims it has been developing nuclear rockets since 2009, and that these rockets could propel humans to Mars in a matter of weeks rather than months. The idea is that if the rocket doesn't use carbon-based fuel, it will be both more efficient and less polluting. The concept of nuclear rockets, which proposes using the enormous amount of energy produced by a nuclear bomb to accomplish a peaceful task by propelling a rocket into space at an incredible rate of speed, has been discussed for more than 50 years. Despite the fact that nuclear thermal rockets have been the subject of research and development, no one has yet succeeded in building one. Thermonuclear bombs on rockets, of which thousands have been produced, were a major point of contention during the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union. Multiple international rockets were built with enough nuclear bombs to wipe out all human life on Earth. However, these weren't rockets powered by nuclear energy that weren't out to destroy Earth. They were nuclear weapons. Even though nuclear-powered rockets have always been thought of, the fact that Russia is thinking about them again has a bit of what's old is new again feel to it. Now, if Russia could figure out how to make something like this work safely, that would be pretty cool. The history of nuclear energy at best, not clear. Nuclear power, on the other hand, is one of the most dangerous kinds of energy, even though it was sold as clean and safe. If an oil rig blows up, it pollutes the ocean for years. If a nuclear plant has a problem, on the other hand, the area won't be safe to live in again for hundreds of years. Again, you only have to look at well-known disasters like the Chernobyl reactor in Russia to see this. What happened in Fukushima, Japan, shows how dangerous nuclear energy can be. Now think about what would happen if a nuclear-powered rocket took off from Earth and something went wrong. When a SpaceX rocket crashes, it leaves behind some debris. On the other hand, a nuclear rocket exploding would make the accident site and miles or kilometers around it completely unlivable. Plus, let's say a nuclear-powered rocket gets off to a good start, but then something goes wrong and it falls off of the sky before it gets to orbit and crashes into another part of the Earth. In this kind of accident, there would be a chance that a nuclear crater would be left on the whole planet. After all, a nuclear-powered rocket that went wrong and exploded when it hit New York City would be unimaginable tragedy. If a nuclear-powered rocket works, it could be very cool, but it doesn't. It's scary to think about. 
So how much of what Russia said is true, and how much is a lie meant to make Elon Musk and SpaceX nervous? The country has talked a lot about how it wants to make amazing rockets powered by nuclear energy, but it hasn't shown anything other than big claims and some old theories or mock-ups. Even though there are a lot of health and safety risks, it is possible to make a rocket that runs on nuclear power. It's just that Russia hasn't shown that such a process is already underway, even if it could be done. They have mostly said the right things, but haven't done what they said. This doesn't mean that Russia's space program hasn't been good. Russia has been sending cosmonauts into orbit or to the International Space Station using standard rockets for decades. No one has done anything about a nuclear-powered rocket that has only been talked about. Russia should really try, but should it? Even though it is possible to make a rocket that runs in nuclear power, it may not be a good idea because nuclear power is dangerous, even in power plants, let alone in a rocket that could crash anywhere on the planet. The question of whether SpaceX should investigate nuclear-powered rockets is an interesting one. Though we've spent considerable time discussing how theoretical their use is and how it could carry immense safety risks. A nuclear-powered rocket, if done properly and safely, could potentially bring many benefits in terms of the sheer speed it'll provide in getting individuals and cargo to far distant destinations like Mars. Even though they have achieved great success with methane rockets, which can be refueled in orbit and thus used for long-distance travel, SpaceX probably shouldn't neglect research into nuclear rockets. However, while the use of methane rockets will make the journey to Mars much more time-consuming, they pose much less of a threat to human health and safety than would the development of SpaceX's own nuclear-powered rocket. It would be fantastic if we had a nuclear-powered rocket that always went off without a hitch, but there are just too many unknowns to make their development worthwhile. Opposed to SpaceX beginning development of nuclear-powered rockets or Russia's continued attempt at such development. After all, Russia doesn't need to use risky nuclear-powered rockets to compete with SpaceX if they use methane rockets to get to Mars. Russia has made it clear that it plans to send a nuclear-powered spaceship to Mars before SpaceX does. We've looked at how this is very different from current rocket technology, and while it sounds great in theory, there are so many potential downsides that it's probably not a good idea for Russia to try to develop a nuclear-powered rocket. There have been enough actual incidents involving nuclear technology to show that it is far too risky to use in any context. Using nuclear-powered rockets to beat Musk and SpaceX to Mars seems like an extremely risky and complicated plan. In the near future, we'll learn if Russia's claims about developing nuclear-powered rockets are just hot air or if they have serious intentions. SpaceX and Musk will be working tirelessly to improve their rocket technology in order to develop the most effective rockets for interstellar travel in the meantime. What do you think? Should they continue with this project? Will Russia successfully beat SpaceX and Elon Musk with their creation? Write your thoughts down in the comment section below, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. That's all for today. We'll see you in the next video.